you're going to go to LA because I'm going and I went the opposite. I wanted to look at some Western as I could. I was so excited to wear my boots. So um, anyway, I am also equally excited to be in Montana. This has been on my bucket list for my whole life and I've never been here before. I've been on the ground in Montana for about two and a half hours and I'm so excited to explore this extraordinarily beautiful state. So um, it's a real treat for me as much as you all may be excited for, you know, some of you said we're excited that you're here. I'm, I am equally excited to be here, and my whole family is as well. So thank you for, you know, thank you so much, first of all, um, you guys, for having us tonight. I mean, this place is amazing. I just ate the um, paleo, gluten-free, chocolate chip cookie or whatever that is to die for that I'm now going to start selling. Um, <laughs> so on top of my bean counter, this is going to be my side gig. I'm going to bring these cookies to the market because that's the best thing I've ever had. So if you haven't been having this, I think you should line up out the door and get them tomorrow morning because they're so good. Um, but thank you guys for hosting us tonight. It's a real treat to be here. And I agree with what Rochelle said, which is I believe in women owned and women run businesses. I also believe in men too. Um, I'm not an anti-men, you know, man, women, but I do believe in women very much. And um, for the, how many of you are consultants? Are you all consultants? Are there any guests here or is it all consultants? Mostly consultants um, and some guests. So those of you who are guests and just here for the first time, I just want to say thanks. Thanks for making the enormous effort to be with us tonight. Thank you for coming in support of our movement or in support of your friends. Thank you to those of you who are clients who Purchase products both for a couple of reasons. One, because you're telling the world that these products are important, and you're also supporting local entrepreneurs, and that means a lot to me. And I think we need many voices around this, the table, so to speak, or in our community. Not all of them need to be consultants. They need to be people who care about our mission. I started Beauty Counter. Um, it's now going up. It's been about eight years since I started thinking about this, and we launched in March of 13. And I started the company because back in 2006, I watched a film called The New Community Truth. I'm sure many of you heard me say this and many of you have seen the film. And for me, that was the first time that I became aware of the fact that we were doing things that were detrimental to the earth. I know that's embarrassing to admit, but I, I really didn't know all that much about what was going on out there. And so I started to become really focused on the environmental health movement. I'm sure some of you, many of you have as well. And that's really easy to do when you're thinking about being, you know, smarter about your choices in shopping, whether that's, I don't know, whether that's using water and vinegar to wash your floors instead of a household cleaning product, whether it's switching from plastic to glass, whether it's, you know, using, um, uh, you know, not using nonstick pans anymore, um, but actually using stainless steel again, going back to where we probably started. Those choices were easy for me to, to make, and those were things that were really easy for me to do, but when it came to, skincare and color cosmetics and personal care products, I was really struggling. Um, and I was struggling for a couple of reasons. One, because I was using brands that I thought were really safe. <clears throat> My daughter Phoebe, who's just about to turn 14, standing there, um, uh, you know, I was watching her in a brand, I won't say the brands, I don't speak about brands, but I was watching her in a natural foaming oatmeal body wash. And I thought, you know, I'm the mom that's using seventh generation, I'm the mom that shops organic and goes to the local farmer's markets. I'm taking my shoes off at the door, I'm doing everything to protect my kids. And I went on the environmental working group and I learned that out of, it was sort of an eight out of nine for toxicity. And I was pretty outraged. And so I started doing a lot of research in general. Um, there are a number of things that led me to, you know, why I started Beauty Counter. Um, I started to do a lot of research. I started watching all my friends who were in their 30s getting diagnosed with cancer. I was watching other friends struggling with fertility. I'm sure this speaks to all of you. I was watching other people giving birth to children with significant health issues, and I kept thinking, like, what's going wrong? And as I did research, I came to learn that um, we've introduced over 80,000 chemicals into commerce since World War II. And about 10,000 of those chemicals are commonly used in skincare and color cosmetics and personal care products. And less than 10% of any of those chemicals have ever been tested for safety on human health, which is just crazy, right? We're putting products on the shelves in all areas of business. I mean, it's not just about skincare. I mean, it's in your electronics, it's in your mattresses, it's in the flame retardant um, pajamas that we're putting on our kids. I mean, it's, it's insane. And I mean, sure some of you saw recently, um, and I will call out this brand because they know better than this, but you know, there was a whole thing on, you know, Claire's and asbestos and marketing to teenage girls makeup that has asbestos in it. I mean, there are things that are going on out there that I think are outrageous. And so I really felt I wanted to do something about it. And the only thing that I, you know, you know, could think of was to, to actually start 
making changes and to educate people on the need for safer ingredients, to create safer products for everyone, and to start advocating tirelessly for cosmetic reform so that our laws get updated. We have not updated a major federal law regulating this industry since 1938. It's a $65 billion industry, and it still allows companies to market their products as aloe, with no aloe in them. It allows them to say that they're natural or organic or safe or pure or botanical or whatever, when they very well may, be, may not be. It allows us to use yeah, up to 40% formaldehyde and, you know, or 100% formaldehyde in products that we're putting on our babies. I mean, baby shampoo had formaldehyde in it. Baby shampoo, no more tears, was it had numbing agents in it. I mean, that's just not acceptable. And so. I wanted to do something about it, and that's why I started Beauty Counter. And our mission is to get safer products into the hands of everyone. And when I say safer products, it's not Beauty Counter products into the hands of everyone, because we know we can't reach everyone. We know our products aren't accessible to everyone, but we want people to have you know, the information to make better choices on behalf of themselves and their families and have access to safer products, which is why we spend so much time in Washington. Because you know, I was saying earlier, there are many people, probably many people in this community for whom Walmart is their choice and their opportunity for shopping. Um, I mean, I don't know if you guys have a Walmart here. It doesn't matter whether it's Walmart or Target or whatever, but the reality of the situation is that most people, right, most people are struggling to make ends meet, and most people don't have the ability to go buy a product at a premium price point, and until we change the laws, all, all Americans will still be unnecessarily subjected to toxic chemicals, and so we really want to make not only great products and not just educate people, but change the laws so that everyone has access to these safer products. Um, so, I felt like, I, you know, you're like, God, I wish she hadn't come to Montana because <laughs> she's like the voice of doom and gloom. And actually, I am really fun and I do like this rosé lemonade. <laughs> um, but, you know, seriously, I think that at the end of the day, we have an opportunity to, to do something about what's going on out there. And I think Beauty Counter, I'm, you know, I'm really proud of what we've done over the last six years because we pioneered the clean beauty movement. We, we commercialized it. We put it on the map. We've fought tirelessly, we've led the way, and we've changed the entire beauty industry, and that's a fact. We may not be the biggest company out there, but I can promise you, having had conversations with people at Unilever, and Estee Lauder, and L'Oreal, and Procter & Gamble, and Johnson & Johnson, they are 100% paying attention to what we're doing, and they're starting to follow our lead, because they know that they need to, and they know that this is important. Because your health is your greatest asset, right? Um, and you know, for those of you in this room, I mean, how many of you have children? And how many of you would do anything to protect them? And how many of you want to be there to grow old with those kids, right? I do. It's not just enough to take care of our kids. We need to take care of ourselves because we need to be around, right? Um, it's important. And so, and so anyway, we're doing something about it. I don't, I feel like I'm rambling. Um, and if I am, I'm sorry. It might be the altitude. Um, <laughs> we're all brain dead. It's either that or I'm just brain dead, which is also equally too. true. Um, one of the things that was important to me when I started Beauty Counter was trying to look, as an entrepreneur, I was trying to look at the consumer marketplace and trying to figure out, can you guys hear out there? You're actually out in a nice, cool air. It's probably much better. Um, but I was trying to figure out, you know, where was the world going? I was coming from the retail world. I worked in department stores and, and specialty stores. And I really thought, you know, that's kind of over. Um, and I'm sorry if you work in a department store, but it, it kind of is. Um, well, good. Okay, well, then I'm not offending anyone here. And I knew that the world was, you know, was going to digital. I knew all these people were focused on e-commerce, but I also knew that when it came to this important information, we shared it with our friends and we share it with people we love. And a friend of mine said, "If you consider direct sales," to which I immediately said, "Hell no." Um, I had a really negative opinion of it. I was like, "Oh, you mean those companies are like stalking people in the hallway?" Uh, that wasn't for me. Um, but then I started taking a look at it and I thought, "Well, this is interesting. What if we actually could build a movement?" powered by people, primarily women, where we're sharing information that we think is important and simultaneously creating economic opportunities for women and men across this country where they can actually build a business that has is part of meaningful change and we can do it in a new and innovative way that is about the way that we want to do this and build a direct-to-consumer business that feels like us and not feels like them. I know a lot of people that have um, joined Beauty Counter and some of you who are thinking about joining Beauty Counter are always asking the question, well, are you one of those companies? I mean, I'm sure every one of you in this room has been like, well, are you like blah, blah, blah? Um, and I always say, no, we're not. Like, I don't know what that company's doing. I can tell you what we do. What we do is we educate people on how to live a cleaner, safer life through just small bits of information that are important so that they can make better choices on behalf of their, their, themselves and their families. We aim to formulate highly, high-performing, amazing products, skincare, cosmetics, personal care products, sunscreen, you name it, babies and kids. 
we want to make sure that we are addressing the needs of a woman and her family so that their entire family has access to safer products. Um, for those of you, because you guys are all like 12 years old, but for some of you that aren't, um, like me, um, we have the launch of all launches coming out in just a couple of weeks. So a new countertime launch. Um, I take zero credit for any of our products, but I can promise you um, this new Red to Natural complex is going to go up against the big guys, and I it's a formidable line. Um, next time you see them, I'm going to be like, <laughs> Without the Botox, you guys know, like, you know, I mean, like, all these women are always, like, you know, trying to, like, get rid of lines, like, in these unnatural ways, and I'm like, you know what, like, I got the wrinkles, I got, um, that is my age, but I know that I want access to safer products that also work really well, but we're all trying to look cute on Friday night, and, you know, you may say you're not, but I know you are, and so are the men trying to look cute on Friday night, even though they'll never admit it, and so it's really nice to have some great products that we can use, and also to use commerce as an engine for change. Um, and so I've been really, really proud of the fact that we've been able to direct, build this direct-to-consumer brand about education and about product and about advocacy. And we've created you know, over 60,000 jobs in this country and in Canada over the last six years, and I'm proud of that. And I'm proud of all of you that have taken that leap of faith with us. And whether you have a full-time job and this is your side gig, whether you are um, a single uh, parent or a stay-at-home you know, parent that's trying to make ends meet, whether you were hoping to put your kid in summer camp this summer or give them riding lessons or buy that new pair of boots or put braces on, whatever, you know, whatever there are millions of things we're all trying to afford. And I think you should be proud of that and not worry about like whether we're one of those companies. We're not. We are a company that's educating, that's advocating, that's going to create safer products. We put like five and a half million safer products into homes across North America. And we're leaving a lasting impression on this earth. You know, we are increasingly focused on sustainability. We're a B corporation, which means we put into equal emphasis people, planet, profit, and we are powered by people and primarily women. And that, of all the things that I am proud of in Beauty Counter is the thing that I'm most proud of. Because at the end of the day, we women can move markets, and we can move markets really quickly, and you all, as part of this movement, have moved the entire beauty industry that hasn't been changed for 100 years in six. And I think that's really something to be proud of. And that's what this company is all about, and that's what we're doing. And so, you know, for those of you that are our consultants, I say go out with confidence and stay the course. Even when people doubt you, they will. They always will. Um, most people will say no to everything that you have to say. <laughs> it's just true. And there will always be those naysayers that say, I don't, I don't care. You know, I always get that. My mother smoked a pack a day and, you know, sprayed hairspray everywhere for 25 years, and she's totally happy. Great. Good for her, I'm so glad she is, but we don't know when that cell went from being healthy to healthy on the person that didn't, wasn't so lucky. And to the extent that we can help people be, be you know, more cautiously and err on the side of precaution, that's great. And to be able to do that and put, you know, meaningful money into our family's homes or, you know, help pay those bills, I think is really, really great. So I would just encourage you to go out with confidence. And for those of you who are clients, you know, you can also shop online. We've been doing pop-ups. We just opened in Denver for anyone who's going there this summer. We have one in New York City. We're opening stores to support our consultants and our clients and to let them have that great experience. So we are a true direct-to-consumer multi-channel brand. It just happens to be powered by people, and we're really, really proud of that. Um, I guess at the end of the day, I've, I, you know, I say this often, but I will say this again. We didn't talk about this earlier um, with the leaders that were here. But you know, I when I turned 40, and I would just ask you to think about this and pick your pick your age. It doesn't really matter. When I turned 40, I thought to myself, like, if I died tomorrow, like, if I died tomorrow, would I have done everything I could on this earth? Like, would this would this have been enough? And I'd enjoyed some success in my career. I had three beautiful children in. in uh, you know, most days a strong marriage. Um, <laughs> depends on the day. <laughs> you know, we have, we have good days and bad days. And if you all act like you don't have moments when you want to kill your husbands, you're lying. <laughs> and I'm sure they want to kill me too. Um, but I was like, you know, no, I don't think I've done enough. And I can say today that I'm, I'm, I'm working on that. And I think for me, Beauty Counter has been that, that thing that I can say I did have you know, an incredible family, and um, I do, and a, a great husband and great children, all that has been amazing, and friendships, and I've been able to travel, I've done lots of wonderful things in my life. But if I were to die tomorrow, I would be able to say, I did something really important in this world. I actually did something that will impact many generations to come. And when people say they're too busy, or when people question what you're doing, just remember that you're actually doing important work. And that day when you're final day comes, which it will come someday, and hopefully not for a very long time, you'll be able to say, you know, I was part of meaningful change. 
and I was able to turn to my partner or I turned to my spouse and say, I've got dinner tonight. We're going to be able to pay for those braces. I'm going to help you pay that more. Just, we are a team. I'm going to show my family, my children, my daughters, my sons that I actually love what I do and I'm proud of what I do and that I'm working with this community of kick-ass women and men who are making a difference in the world. And so for me, that has been the, the, the most important thing for me is to be able to make a difference. And so I thank you all um, for coming tonight, for being part of our movement, for supporting us as friends, whether you're texting members of Congress, whether you're buying products or whether you join us as a consultant, we need you. You're part of our tribe and we thank you so very much and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for being being part of this. Um, and, you know, that's it. I don't want to bore you guys to tears. Um, thank you. Thank you for having me tonight. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions if you guys want. I don't know if people want to get back to having cocktails, that's fine too, whatever you want, but, you know, I'm, I'm here for you all, um, and I'm thrilled to get a chance to meet so many of the people that are putting us on the map up here in Wyoming, Montana, and I don't know, we had someone from North Dakota too, so thank you, thank you very, very much. Good job.